Come on, bro. I don't I don't know what he's on, bro. Somebody tell me this substance that Kanye is on because this man, he on a whole nother like Kanye. Um, you know, you need help, bro. You need help. My best friend, do you wanna be my best friend? My best friend, do you wanna be my best friend? My best friend, do you wanna be my best friend? My best friend, do you wanna be my best friend? My best friend. Was that? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Slim Tim, and this is Slim Tim Biz Guy. You already know we back with another hot reaction video, man. Y'all already know how we do it, man. Fire content, fire videos every day. Welcome back to the home of hot. Welcome back to the home of YouTube hot reaction biz, man. Sources say, news say it's everywhere. Kanye West, what is going on, my guy? Kanye West. It said once again to have made some blasphemous comments. Ooh, and uh, yeah, you already know Kanye has been on a hot seat. Everybody's confused, kind of, but not confused because we know kind of what what Kanye is on now. I mean, we don't know what he's on. Anyway, you already know, man. We are gonna hop straight into it today because this has been blowing up. So I'm gonna shut up and stop talking. We gonna look at this video. I'm gonna react to it, man. We gonna see what Kanye West got for us now, man. TMZ. I don't think people necessarily understand what happened last week with the Great Ameri uh, Make, yeah, America Make America Great, Great Again hat. What are you trying to do with the message you're sending? Well, it was really just my subconscious. It was a feeling I had, you know, like people were taught how to think. We're taught how to feel. We don't know how to think for ourselves. We don't know how to feel for ourselves. People say feel free, but they don't really want us to feel free. And uh, okay. I felt a freedom in, first of all, just doing something that everybody tells you not to do. I just love Trump. That's my boy. Like, uh, you know, it's like so, so many rappers, you'll look at a video of Snoop Dogg loving Trump, but then he get in the office and now they don't love him. Like, Trump is one of rap's favorite people, no, right? But we, we, we talk about <laughs> yeah. this, that before he was yeah. elected president, people yeah. in hip-hop, it was, it was an in thing to put Donald Trump yeah. in your rhyme somewhere. Yeah. And by the way, right. I am in hip-hop, but I'm not just in hip-hop. I'm a black person in a black community, but I'm not just that. I feel like one thing is people try to minimize me to artists, hip-hop, okay. uh, black community. Yeah, I'm always going to represent that but also represent the world when you hear about slavery for 400 years for 400 years that's not like a choice oh hell no like, man if you don't sit your god here's it is all of y'all you know, like, like the word prison. okay so now you know what i'm saying it, this might just say slavery was a choice because we were in it for 400 years my boy you're not my boy after that life my guy, you just take it just the extra mile, bro, when it, you only had a couple more feet to go. You feel me? Like, you just don't say anything like that, bro. That's just so disrespectful, bro. For whatever reason you thought that was cool or, you know, you thought that was going to be a wake-up call for, uh, you know what I'm saying, this nation or our people and stuff. Mm. No, sir, bro. No, sir. I don't care who gets on my head. You know what I'm saying? Kanye makes great music. What he just said, though. Totally off the charts, totally wrong. Come on, bro. I don't I don't know what he's on, bro. Somebody tell me this substance that Kanye is on because this man, he on a whole nother I should roll the video. Idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. So prison is something that unites us as one race. Blacks what? and whites being one race. Uh, that we're one we're we're, we're the human race. Do you feel that I'm feeling? Do, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? I, I actually I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. And the reason why I feel like that is because, because Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact 
and real world, real life consequence okay. behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Frankly, I'm disappointed, yes, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. Bro, you gotta be responsible, man. Bro, I'm sorry you I gotta, hurt you. You gotta be responsible. Bro. I'm sorry I hurt you, bro. bro. Your voice is too big. You got I mean, but it took a turn when Kanye said what he said, though. I mean, sometimes, like I said, it, it's like he don't realize, bro. He, he's out of body. Like, he's he not in his own body. He's not, he's not in control of his mind, bro, for whatever reason. Kanye, he needs help, bro. A lot of us need help. A lot of people in the, um, not in just in the music industry, but just in the spotlight, man. Just in Hollywood, period, bro. They are not living that luscious life that you they think what? they're living, bro. Like, they're going through some stuff, too. When these interviews happen, they kind of get exposed, bro. But it, at the same time, I'm glad he said that because, my guy, he was able to step up and, you know, kind of school him and educate him a little bit and, you know, just remind him how much power he has has behind his words uh the state of this country still when it has to deal with racism it's bigger than you Kanye it's bigger than all of us to be honest man. like we just gotta keep working on it bro this is something that's gonna keep ha coming up and it should because you know it's still it's still relevant it still happens today and so I appreciate my bro my brother I don't know his name that was in that newsroom who stood it up you know who was not afraid to say something in response to Kanye's blasphemous you know what I'm saying remarks like another that was just crazy, bro. Like, Kanye, um, you know, you need help, bro. You need help. Um, you have a platform um, that, that uh, very few people have. So you have to be wise about the different things that you choose to say, that you choose to advocate and stand up for, bro. And just, you know, man, just learn from your mistakes, bro. Because that was definitely a mistake, bro. Like, that was definitely a big mistake. And so, um, that was definitely interesting for me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mean to get too serious with you guys on this one. I really didn't, uh, expect, you I, I ain't know what to expect. You know, you never know what to expect with Kanye. But, uh, as usual, you already know, this has been another high reaction video, man. A high reaction video today. Wow, that, that was a little heated, for real there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all follow the boy at JT underscore Slim Tim on all social medias, on IG and Snapchat. And uh, yeah, man, it's been another high reaction video from your boy Slim Tim on Slim Tim Fizz. Babe, from my west to the lake and they cover his face like a vape. And I hate when I wait, but it never come late. From tobacco back roads to my.